You have your texts for your course, but they're not regular textbooks. You'll be using online texts and other articles as the primary readings in your course. What strategies can you use for making effective notes that will help you retain what you are reading, prepare for exams, and note key information for use in your assignments? One tool that can help you take notes electronically is Hypothesis. Hypothesis is a free tool that you add to the Crown Browser that allows you to highlight and add notes to online text. In this video, you will learn how to install Hypothesis, create notes and highlights, and create a group to work collaboratively with your classmates. To get started with Hypothesis, you will first create a free account. Type Hypothesis, H-Y-P-O-T-H-E-S dot I-S into the search bar. On the top right, you will find the Get Started button. Click here to create your account. Create a free account. You will create a username, provide your email address, and add your password. Click the Sign Up button. Then, check your email and click on the link to activate your account. The second step is to install the Hypothesis extension in your web browser. In this case, you will use the Chrome browser. To install the extension, go to the Get Started section of the Hypothesis page. Then, click on the Chrome extension button. This will guide you through the steps of installing the extension. When the extension is installed, you will see a square icon at the top right of your screen. When you click this icon, you will see a new menu on the far right of your browser. Click the arrow to open the menu and to log in. Next, you will choose where to store your notes. Be aware that the default setting is public. You will likely want to create a private group for personal notes or group projects. To create a group, click on Public and then create a new private group. For each text you highlight, you can choose which group can see your notes. This feature can be especially helpful for group study and projects. You may also wish to create a group that only you can see to store personal notes. Now, begin reading and taking notes. Today, I'm going to read and take notes on this chapter on procrastination from an online text. When I highlight some text, I have the option of choosing to highlight or annotate. When you click on highlight, the text is marked in yellow, as you might expect. This can be helpful in identifying key points in the document. However, be careful not to over-highlight. Be very selective in highlighting only key information. You can also choose to annotate the section that you choose. This time, I'll choose the annotate feature. I will support my reading by taking notes in my own words, responding to what I read with my own thoughts, or asking a question about what I read. I'll type my comment in the box and post to the group I choose. I wrote, I assumed that procrastination was always a time management problem. What might be a different reason that I procrastinate? Now I'll post my annotation to the video demo class. By clicking on the page notes icon, I can choose to add a page note that summarizes my key learnings or questions, or indicates how I might use this information in the future. As I read this page, I found the information on the Pomodoro technique useful. If I was reading this text together with a group of classmates, I might add something like this to the notes. I found the Pomodoro technique interesting. Has anyone else used this method successfully? My group members can then respond with their own insights. Reading purposefully requires you to actively interact with text. In this video, you learned how to use Hypothesis as a tool for engaging with online text. You learned how to create an account, install the extension, and use basic highlighting and annotation tools. How might you use Hypothesis to support your reading in your courses? 